this is lineage os 23 one of the most trusted and long-lasting custom roms available for android users i have installed lineage os 23 which is based on android 16 on my pixel 7a now let's take a look at the all new features of lineage os with android 16. Lineage OS 23 doesn't include the brand new Material 3 Expressive Design language, which is a bit disappointing, but it should arrive later with the Lineage OS 23.1 update. The reason behind the delay is that Google hasn't released the Android 16 QPR1 source code to the public yet, and that update contains the new design system, performance upgrades, and much more. The good news is that Google has confirmed the source code will be released very soon. Until then, the Lineage team is using the older QPR build, which is the first stable release of Android 16. Lineage OS gives you a clean and stock Android experience. It comes with a pixel-like launcher called Trebuchet, which is a simple and easy to use. Now swiping up from the bottom opens the app drawer, where you can see all your installed applications. Now swiping down on the home screen shows the quick toggles and notification panel. Now swapping up and holding for a second opens the recent app switcher. And from there, you can use split screen mode to run two apps side by side. Now swiping to the left brings up the Google Discover feed. Overall, the UI experience is excellent, minimal, clutter free, and very fast. Now this update brings some nice changes to the built-in applications like the camera, music player, and a few others. Now let's talk about the camera improvements. The aperture for camera application has been completely rewritten and it now supports Ultra HDR photos, RAW capture, and even RAW plus JPEG simultaneous capture, which is a great news for photography lovers. Now this update also brings noticeable system level improvements. The Seed Vault, the open source encrypted backup system used by Lineage OS, now offers even better backup support. It securely encrypts your app data on the device using a user controlled key and can also be protected with a mnemonic phrase. You can backup everything to local storage device without depending on cloud services. Now inside the battery settings, the charging controls are now more refined. You can check battery health, see the charge cycle count, and even set a charging limit. You will also find brand new ringtones and alarm sounds that adds a nice touch to the daily user experience. Also, the improved back navigation brings smoother and predictive gestures. Lineage OS also adds support for running Linux natively. This feature is part of core Android 16 and was available only on Pixel devices. But now, thanks to Google, it's open to everyone, so vendors can port and optimize it for their own hardware. 
To enable Linux support, go to Settings, About Device, and tap the Build number seven times to activate developer options. After that, open Developer Options and look for Linux Development Environment. Now just turn on this feature to enable native Linux support. Once it's activated, open the app drawer and you will see a brand new terminal application. Go ahead and open it and click the install button to set up the Debian CLI environment. And that's it. Now Linux is running natively inside your Android device. You can even use it to run desktop environments like GNOME, Plasma, and basically turn your smartphone into a full computer. I have made a dedicated video about this topic and I will leave a link in the description down below. Lineage OS 23 now offers much better support for running the system inside a virtual machine. With improved QEMU integration, developers and testers can run Lineage OS on the computers without needing a physical device. Now this makes testing, debugging, and experimenting a lot easier. You can run it through the libvirt on Linux or Windows and even on Apple Silicon Macs using UTM. Now all the detailed instructions are available on the wiki page. Overall, Lineage OS 23 is a major step forward for the custom ROM community. It brings Android 16 to a wide range of devices, improves the core applications in meaningful ways, and lays a strong foundation for future updates. If you have a compatible phone or even older device you want to bring back to life, this update is absolutely worth trying. And that's pretty much it about the Lineage OS 23 based on Android 16. Let me know what do you think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.